Researcher Dr. Jeffrey Karp is not a specialist, and that's the beauty of what he does. We have somewhere on the order of 20 to 25 different projects that are um, simultaneously ongoing. What was that again? Somewhere on the order of 20 to 25 different projects that are um, simultaneously ongoing. If this sounds like a lot, it is. But there's a reason. We focus on development of technology. And so once we develop a technology, um, typically we like to have this be platform in nature so we can apply it to multiple medical applications. To achieve his goals, Dr. Karp has assembled a team with a diverse skill set. Innovation really happens at the interface of disciplines, and that's why I've really um, made great efforts to populate my lab with people from different disciplines. Dr. Karp's team focuses on translational research. Jeff Karp's work will really uh, translate to uh, patient care. He has uh, uses all of the different methodologies that he um, uncovers uh, to bring that to the bedside. What he creates are novel devices, like a new needle that automatically stops when it hits the right location. The great potential that this new uh, needle device may offer is that it can significantly prevent overshoot injuries and actually stop at the exact location of where the operator wants the needle um, to either deliver a drug, for example, or sample a fluid. By observing the skin of geckos, Dr. Karp's lab is working on a surgical adhesive that will prevent problems when a patient receives sutures internally. One of the things that we've been doing is mimicking how the gecko can walk up walls and hang from a single toe, and we've been able to develop a tape-based adhesive that could be useful for sealing wounds, so this potentially could be applied to nearly any tissue that you can imagine. Another innovation using a gel-based system to more specifically and appropriately deliver medication to the patient. We can inject a anti-inflammatory gel into the joint of a patient who has rheumatoid or osteoarthritis, and that drug will only be released when the patient's experiencing a flare. It's all part of an exciting glimpse into the future. My goals for the lab are to train the next generation of bioengineers to work at the forefront of translational medicine. He's the kind of energetic, creative person uh, that we depend on. The Brigham and Women's Hospital has been an incredible environment. It's, in, it's supportive on all levels, and so I'm very proud to affiliate with and have a home within the Brigham and Women's Hospital. That support is paying dividends and has been acknowledged with a prestigious Coulter Award. The Coulter Award to me is a really wonderful award to win because the people who have won it in the past um, are really those who have focused on translational research and that's really what um, I'm trying to do in my laboratory.